and welcome to another weekly connection. As you can see, I am on another lake. Now, which lake is it? <laughs> we don't know. Well, we know. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. Uh, you'll hear the ducks, I hope, um, while we're there in the background. And um, we're going to uh, do a number of things today. We have the whole crew. Jawal call again. He seems to like doing the videos with us. And uh, Lord Katumi and Lord Mahay are leading. So let's get our cosmic thrust oil. All right. And it is on sale. All right. And we're going to rub our hands together. Bring it up through our energy field. Mm, and that deep breath in, connecting you heaven and earth. And I don't have any spray with me out here. But usually I do that first to clear the aura. And then this to ground and align and connect us. So what we want to talk about today is, is kind of important stuff and next week too. We just finished having 1111, which is a very, you know, 1111 is a, a very sacred number. And the celestials have been hard at work helping us to create our paradigm, which is what the next lecture will be about. But this one is about us and understanding and explaining that we are the ones that we have been waiting for. You know, we talk about the coming of Christ and the coming of Christ is the coming of the Christ consciousness. That's us, that's you, that's me. That's all of us being in Christ consciousness so that we can shift this planet to life. Now the next, till the end of the year, now you have to understand time, when they go 11-11 and for 40 days, that is not really accurate, but it gives us a guideline. But really starting now, we are moving into a phase and the celestials are working very, very hard to help us. But remember, there's not going to be a day when the ships are going to appear in the sky, celestials are going to come down and straighten up all the stupid humans. The humans have to straighten themselves up. Now, what is happening as of 1111 is that they are working more and more in helping to vibrate our vibration to that of 5D. Now, when that happens, you might see more lower vibration things respond to that. It's kind of like uh, the, you know, the, 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 the pendulum moving or whatever. You see, you know, when there's a push of light, then, you know, stuff happens. I don't know. It's pretty hard out there right now. But they're doing that now. So there's a great push. And there are a lot of meetings to push this light at this particular moment because these are what we call windows so these are windows where your energy and my energy and all of our energy are able to accelerate at an easier greater pace so that's what we want so they're trying to help us be the one they're helping us do that because it's well one's plural one singular wherever you go with that so that's what we're doing. So you're going to see more earth activity, more solar activity. Last month there was a day when all of the plates on the planet moved simultaneously, or split second. Earthquakes galore, the volcano over in um, the Canary Islands erupted even more. So you're going to find all that happening because you can feel that things are getting ready to move. So the question is, are we ready? I don't know. Are we ready? Some of you are ready. Some of you are not. And it comes down to the same thing again. Let's explain what we call cosmic consciousness, which is the same thing as Christ consciousness. Let's go over that again to understand what your goal is, what my goal is. In Christ consciousness, you come from, guess, 
love. Of course it's love. In that Christ and co or cosmic consciousness, it means that you are no longer me, 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 I, I, I. This world serves me. This world serves what I want. I have been in service to this world all my days, and I will continue to be in service to this world for the remainder of my days. It is not an early, easy world to be in service to because of all of the denser vibrations that reside here. Now, in your Christ consciousness, you are not going to get rid of every low vibrational being. They don't want to, they don't got to. And, and that's where some people get confused. They think it's just gonna be like, ta-da! It's not. We move our vibration upward to vibrate at that higher vibration, coming from love, coming from discernment and not judgment. And the other part of that, and I hope most of you are getting experiences of this, you start to see the oneness with the tree, with the pretty little ducks out there having a great old time, you know, and you feel your connectedness to those things. It's a vibrational feeling. I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. It is vibrational. It's like being able to see through the tree, being able to translate the duck, being able to understand your partner, being able to not come from the ego and the me, 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 I, 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 but kind of going as the whole. It is quite impossible to explain. I'm doing my best because it is experiential. It is just feeling that vibration of everything vibrating around you. I like that. That was Joel Call. <laughs> so you feel that vibration of everything vibrating around you. And you feel your vibration as part of that vibration. When you have that, you have to come from love. You can't feel that vibration and be judgmental. You can't feel that vibration and be a little bit gitchy. Now, here's the thing. You do not need to be in Christ consciousness 24 seven, just a majority of the time. There's a lot of leeway here, you know? We get a lot of leeway <laughs> because we're babies. We're little tiny babies learning to tie our shoes. Sometimes the lace is perfect, Sometimes it's a little sloppy. Just get the lace tied. And that's our goal right now. So in the next several days, months, we are having the ability to expand our awareness and our consciousness to be able to see beyond ourselves, which is what cosmic consciousness is about. And they call it Christ consciousness because this is what Christ taught. And this is the vibration we are coming to as the second coming, as it's often referred to. Will there be a guy that jumps out of a spaceship to save us? No. Will there be an angel coming in on expanded wings to save us? No, this is our deal. We made the mess. We have to grow up and grow out of it. It would be like a teacher saying, oh, you've done so well with your lessons, I'll give you all the answers to the exam now. That would never happen. Not that I've ever seen. Unless they gave me the answer and I had to make the question. <laughs> No. So they are here in total support of us. And they have been in 
total support of us and helping us in every way vibrationally to move our vibration upward. So you can ask for help and we get help. And they are beaming Scotty. They are beaming us really, really hard right now. And they are helping, here's where they help. My boss, who is a celestial, and he said, if your karma does not warrant the experience, it does not become a collective experience. So no World War III, because our karma doesn't warrant it. <laughs> right? No atomic bomb, our karma doesn't warrant it. But if our karma does, then, as he says, the game is afoot. Meaning we must shift our energy and we must shift our consciousness to take a negative experience and make it light. And that's the job of being in a physical body. That's our job. So I want you to be extra vigil right now. Be very mindful about your thoughts. Because remember, they're actually... <laughs> I don't know if I could say they're more powerful than your actions, but doggone, they are powerful. So let's do that. Let's be very, very mindful of our thoughts and, of course, our actions. And you can't think that the guy that cut you off is a dodo brain or something worse. You have to bless that guy. And that's what we're learning. And this is the greatest time to re-change our old dynamics and make new us, make the light us. Because it's not going to be a guy or a girl or an angel or an extraterrestrial. It's going to be you that saves the world. Okay, let's get our energy going. And when you say grounded, it's really important to stay grounded with everything going on on the planet. So let's do it. Let's bring in that light from source, bringing it in, coming all the way down through our body, out our feet and into the grid. So it hangs onto the grid, right? Clench on with your toes, bring it up your back. And there's your mother energy. There's that nurturing. That's what, you know, that light energy from the mother set, lets you feel okay about the bad day, you know, because it's just that mother love energy. And then it comes down the back, front. <laughs> it comes down the front. And that's the young energy, the male energy, that energy of strength, of courage, of grit. And then of resolve, of understanding, of knowing and being nurtured in that love and around and around and around. And then we bring it up the back with the mother essence in it. And it starts to shower out the top of your crown into your auras, all of your auras, one at a time, your root aura. And here's where we change the DNA of humanity into light beings. All children as of November of, of 2011 have been a fifth dimensional character and above. No more 3Ds on the planet, but there are plenty of 3Ders. And then the sacral chakra, where we get rid of all of this old paradigm. And we're gonna work more on that next time with Lord Katumi. And, and, and Jamalka. <laughs> he likes these groups, he's coming all the time. All right, so, and then, um, and Saint Germain will be in the next one too. So then, we go into the uh, solar plexus where we show power. True power is love. Not my ego, not your ego, not a belief system, not my God, your God, who God, what God, not. This is the power of love that we radiate through all of the vibrations that we come in contact with. And then we actually feel that heart energy. We are that heart energy in the heart aura. And in the throat, where we express only one thing, love. And that love, of course, is compassionate. 
to all things and all beings. And then into our third eye, where we have full confidence in what we are doing and that we will accomplish this. I know it has looked like we're not going to get there lately, but we are. We are. And humanity will be so much kinder and more loving. And then wear your crown. Wear it so doggone proud. You just prop it right up there. Say, yes, I am a light seed. And I'm proud of it and I love it. Because I love this work and I love this service to humanity and to Earth. So there's a lot on our plate and we're going to gobble it up. So let's get going. I love you all and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.